Okay. Well, good morning. And welcome to the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting. We do appreciate your attendance. And for the viewers, thank you so very much for uh, tuning in. For introductions, on my left is Commissioner Deb Shore and Commissioner Todd Wilchin. And on my right is Commissioner Bill Avery. And I believe that uh, Vice Chair Commissioner Larry Hutkins will be joining us soon. Uh, we are assisted by uh, Dave Durbin county, from the County Attorney's Office, Kelly Lundgren and Dan Nolte of the County Clerk's Office. And um, I am Roma Amundsen, Chair of the County Board. Will you join me now in saying the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. And thank you for joining in. And Mr. Clerk, will you please begin the agenda? A copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all of material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the county clerk's staff. The material can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Agenda item one are minutes. Approval of the minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting held on Tuesday, November 17, 2015. Move approval. Second. To move to second that we approve the minutes of the <clears throat> last week's meeting. Are there any corrections? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Number two are claims, approval of all claims processed through November 24th, 2015. Move approval. Second. Move to second that we approve all claims processed through uh, November 24th. Any um, discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Number three is a special presentation, introduction of prospective appointees to the Lancaster County Extension Board, Jim Ballman, Patricia Heather, and Jim Pinkerton, Karen Wobig, Lancaster County Extension Unit Leader and Department Head. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, well, we're happy today. Oh, you sign in. So oh, could you introduce yourself to it, please? Oh, okay. Um, this is Karen Wobig. Um, I'm the unit leader or department head at the Lancaster County Extension Office. Mm -hmm. And I'm pleased this morning to simply introduce the newest board members that will be um, joining us and beginning their three-year term in January. Mm -hmm. So we are here today to seek approval for their uh, nomination to our board. Mm -hmm. And so we have Jim Pinkerton, um, and I'll maybe let them tell a little bit about themselves. And he is brand new to the board and will be beginning the, the his term then in January. Mm -hmm. Pat Heather or Pat Patricia Heather um, has actually been on the board for a year um, substituting um, and fulfilling a term of someone who had to um, resign their position and so Pat now will begin her three-year term she um, asked to uh, seek re-election to the board so we're excited to have them here and if maybe they can tell you a little about themselves please do uh, Jim Pinkerton uh, I have a rural background uh grew up on a farm i currently live now here in lincoln uh, i work for the state of nebraska as a construction project manager uh, my i have education in construction management and a master's degree in community and urban planning um, great so. <laughs> great skill set to yeah. bring to the board <laughs> hi I'm Patricia Heather, and, and thank you for the opportunity for this. It's been a wonderful time serving on the board. I grew up on a farm in uh, uh, Odo County, Dunbar, Nebraska, and 4-H uh, and Extension were a huge part of our lives. My mother started the first Extension Club in that area and uh, was a 4-H club leader for 45 years. <clears throat> and, and she's still 98 years old and remembers those days greatly. <laughs> But it was a big deal, and uh, I've been, uh, 4-H was my life growing up. Um, I went to college at the University of Nebraska, a degree in home economics education. At that time, that's what it was called. But then went to work for the railroad, and 37 years later, uh, I was still there. And then retired, <laughs> tired from, from that about four years ago. So um, at intermittent uh, times where I've been away from extension in 4-H because of career and family, but my kids were both in 4-H and they had the livestock and the home economics and photography and I think that's where our love of photography began was 4-H but now I'm so excited to be reconnected with Extension again because I'm just uh, blown away how it's changed and evolved and, and keeps meeting the needs of the community 
I, 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 when you think there's thousands, 25,000 kids, I believe, that are touched by 4-H and Extension in this county alone, it's incredible. So I'm very honored to be a part of that. Thank you. Well, Larry. Patricia, you just did a good job of telling about <clears throat> why there's something in 4-H for everybody. A lot of people think you have to have an animal or a horse or something like that, but the model rocketry, the photography, and just embryology and, and everything, and like you said, over 20,000 kids in Lancaster County alone enrolled. I think, uh, Karen, isn't the uh, highest enrollment of any county in the state? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome responsibility, and both of you accepting uh, positions on this board to continue that uh, legacy and to continue to make those opportunities available. Growing up in Dunbar, does the name Louise Tealhorn mean anything to you? <laughs> yes, that name does does uh, sound quite familiar. Yes. Right, my wife's best friend. So oh, that's thank great. Thank you. Yeah. And Jim, good to see you again. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, and what I would like to say is thank you so very much for your willingness to volunteer to be, serve on, the, on this board. These are very important positions, so we thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And let's go on to correlating item 4A, please. This is new business, appointment of Jim Ballman, Patricia Heather, and Jim Pinkerton to the Lancaster County Extension Board for three-year terms from January 1st, 2016 to December 31st, 2018. I move approval. Second. Moved and seconded that we, uh, that we approve this appointment. Uh, any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. B is a resolution directing the county engineer to conduct a study regarding vacating portions of South 54th Street, more particularly described in Exhibit A and located in Lancaster County, Nebraska. Pam Dingman, Lancaster County Engineer. So this is a piece of ground along the um, 54th Street corridor outside of Hickman that we have talked about um, before. Um, you may notice that the new graded road in order to meet the safety requirements um, kind of meandered a little bit. So now we have this straight away. Um, and it was filed um, by actually um, a resident of Lancaster County to have this road vacated. So normally we would talk about this more in depth at a staff meeting, but as you know, this is um, Thanksgiving week, and by statute we only have two weeks to act on this um, to, to, for, in order for me to be directed to do a study of it. Um, so that's why I'm bringing this forward to you at this time. Uh, I do have um, Ken Schroeder, County Surveyor, with me today. He, he was kind enough to prepare the homework for the meeting, so if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. Larry? Well, Pam, uh, when we did the tour of the Hickman area, you pointed out that this is something to look at, so I think we're all pretty familiar with it. So uh, have we read the resolution? I have. Or item B? I have read it myself, yes. I mean, it, has it been called? Otherwise, No, otherwise we need to, yeah. yeah. Would you like to read it, please? Do you have it? Mr. Clark. Yeah. Okay. Oh. yeah. I will move approval of the resolution directing the county engineer to study the vacation. And I'll second it. Okay, it's been moved to second that we uh, approve this resolution to conduct the study. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. And Pam? Motion. Pam, you did a very nice job at the Kiwanis breakfast. Excellent job. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> yes. Sir. Maybe if I'd expound on that for a, for a moment, uh, Commissioner Amundsen and I attended the annual Kiwanis Farm City breakfast this morning at 6:30 in the morning, and uh, Engineer Dingman was the featured speaker, and she does an excellent presentation, mm -hmm. uh, PowerPoint called "The Bridges of Lancaster County," and a little humor with it, and a lot of seriousness, and uh, the crowd really, really appreciated a lot of positive comments afterwards. So thank you. Did a great job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 4C is a recommendation from the purchasing department and accounting sheriff to award a purchase order to SAS R&D Services, Inc. for one enhanced contraband detection kit. The total amount of the purchase order is $32,150. I think he discussed this at the staff meeting, didn't he? 
I would move approval. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded that we approve this uh, purchase order. Uh, any discussion? Please call the roll. Wilchin? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Avery? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. D is modification to county contract C 15 533 as amended by county contract number C 15 597. The 2015 sub recipient agreement for the Southeast Region State Homeland Security Program from the Nebraska Emergency Management Agency decreasing the grant amount from $412,119 to $261,600 under a memo of understanding <coughs> to fund the state of Nebraska's Fusion Center. Good morning, Jim David Saber, Director, Lincoln Lancaster County Emergency Management. NEMA, Nebraska Emergency Management Agency, is the entity responsible for administering this uh, federal program grant. Each year it identifies the grant amount that must be returned to the state for operation of the Fusion Center. And for this funding cycle, $150,519 is the amount that we will return uh, to the, the state for operation of its Fusion Center. Larry? Have you reviewed that? Do you think it's the proper amount? <clears throat> yes. Again, it's something that we at the local level or the regional level have no control over. NEMA identifies what that amount is. The Fusion Center very quickly is responsible for the collection, analysis, and dissemination of intelligence information. And with the focus on anti-terrorism, um, that's a huge uh, issue that needs to be addressed. And that's why we're, we're very fortunate to partner with the Fusion Center. Uh, again, with that uh, information dissemination, everybody who needs to know is aware. Um, is yeah. the Fusion Center a, a physi physical yeah, location or more of a concept? It's both, actually. They, they have a physical location. It's administered by the Nebraska State Patrol, um, okay. but they share information with uh, law enforcement agencies, first responders throughout the state. Okay. Move approval. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded that we approve this modification to the county contract. And Jim, don't go away, but to move this uh, approve, uh, modification, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Abstain. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries four yes, one abstention. And Jim, I, I wanted to say, uh, uh, how well that the thyroid program, the exercise was run. You did a great job in doing it. There were 117, was 117 yes. yep. uh, people who from various or, or agencies participated in that. Correct. And we certainly did identify a lot of the um, needs and regarding the, the 32 core capabilities, capabilities yes. of emergency management. Yes. And uh, so you did a great job. Outstanding. I, I appreciate you mentioning that. That's the first step in the process. But mm -hmm. with the level of attendance, the participation that we had, we definitely gathered the, the data we need to move forward. Then so. you pulled together a lot of agencies, and that was great. Very good. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You bet. Four E is an agreement with the Lincoln League of Women Voters <coughs> to assist with voter registration sites in Lancaster <coughs> County. The county shall pay $4,000 for the services provided. Term the agreement is September 1st, 2015 to August 31st, 2017. Move approval. Second. Move to second that we approve this agreement with the Lincoln uh, League of Women Voters. Uh, any discussion? Please call the roll. Atkins? Yes. Avery? Yes. Wilson? <coughs> yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries <coughs> five to zero. F is a, federable, is a federal equitable sharing agreement and annual certification report for the Lancaster County Attorney's Office regarding equitable sharing activity of drug forfeiture funds for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2015. Does anybody have any knowledge on this or would like to speak on this? There's somebody from the county attorney's office. Is there office? someone from the county's attorney's office? Tell us about a little bit about mm -hmm. it. <clears throat> Dave, you're on the docket. <laughs> Dave Durbin, Deputy County Attorney, County Attorney's Office. Mm -hmm. um, my understanding that the first part of this is basically a certification of how the funds for the past fiscal year were used. Um, the second part of this is an agreement for uh, prospective sharing. Uh, this is sharing of federally forfeited cash properties, proceeds, um, any interest that trickles down, down then to the state level. In exchange, we agree to use the um, 
we, we agree to use the proceeds in certain ways, and that, again, is uh, reflected in the, uh, the report on the front. Okay. Thank you. I will move approval. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded that we approve this uh, sharing agreement and certification report. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Upstand. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries four yes, one abstention. G is an addendum to the memorandum of agreement between the Department of Homeland Security and Lancaster County on behalf of the Lancaster County General Assistance for the Systematic Alien Verification for Entitlements Program. The addendum re renews the agreement through June 30, 2016 and verifies the county's anticipated collections for the new term. Good morning, Sarah Hoyle, Director of Lincoln Lancaster Human Services. And this is just to continue our usage of a database and general assistance that allows us to verify citizenship and immigration status. Okay. All right. Move approval. Second. Moved and seconded that we approve this addendum to a memorandum of an agreement. Uh, any discussion? Please call the roll. Wilton. Upstain. Hudkins. Yes. Avery. Yes. Shore. Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries four yes, one abstention. H is a contract with Brockman, Inc. in the amount of $2,800 for, for mold removal. Term of the contract is 30 days from notice to proceed. Move approval. Second, but I, I, I think we're going to get an explanation <laughs> from the county engineer here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a contract for mold removal from uh, the county shop, one of two contracts that is on your agenda today. So um, the type of shops that we have, and I just want to remind the taxpayers how humble these locations are. They're not air conditioned. Um, they have a, what is really a, a small electric heater in one portion of the office to keep the pipes warm enough not to freeze. You know, because we have these open, there's cinder blocks that construction, um, they also become a, a really kind of hazardous location to incubate mold. So um, this is the first of two contracts um, that we're going to be um, remediating that mold and trying to fix it. Um, again, these are really Band-Aid fixes to buildings that are well past their useful life and need to be replaced. Larry? I'm sure uh, you might be aware of, but uh, Don Colleen does have their own unit for asbestos removal, but I don't believe they uh, work with mold, do they, or have you visited with our property manager? Uh, we did visit with, uh, with Don. In fact, um, we did have um, his asbestos person come out and inspect both of these facilities just to make sure. Um, and, you know, we are indeed uh, asbestos free, so I guess that was good well, news. Good. <laughs> Some good news. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Move I approval. Second. Move to second that we approve this contract with uh, Brockman Inc. You had, you had two motions. Yeah. Two seconds, yeah. Oh. We already had one. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's right. We had the discussion then. Okay. So please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Four eyes a contract with New Horizons LLC in the amount of $1,620 for mold removal. Term of the contract is 30 days from the notice to proceed. Move approval. Move. Second. Move and second that we approve the contract with New Horizons. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Hudkins? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Shore? Yes. Avery? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. J is amendment to connect contract C-12-682 with Sap Brothers Petroleum for the annual supply of absorbents floor dry. The amendment renews the contract for an additional one-year term from December 1st, or excuse me, from December 11th, 2015 to December 10th, 2016. Cost of the county is, to not, is not to exceed $1,000. Move approval. Second. Move to second that we approve this amendment to the county contract with uh, Sap Brothers Petroleum. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Door. Yes. Avery. Yes. Wilchin. Yes. Hudkins. Yes. Amundsen. Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number five is public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to county business, not on the agenda, may do so at this time. Student. Or do we have a student in the background? Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, no. Uh, oh, sorry. A journalism student. Okay, well, great. Welcome. We'd be happy to answer any questions you might have after the meeting. 
Okay. Next is announcements. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will not hold a staff meeting on Thursday, November 26, 2015 due to the Thanksgiving holiday. The next regular scheduled staff meeting will be on Thursday, December 3, 2015 at 8.30 a.m. in the Bill Luxford studio of the County City Building. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold their next regular meeting on Tuesday, December 1, 2015 at 9 a.m. in Room 112 of the County City Building with the Board of Equalization immediately following. County commissioners can be reached at 402-441-7447 or commission at lancaster.ne.gov. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting is broadcast live and is rebroadcast on Tuesday and Saturday on 5 City TV cable channel 5. In addition, the meeting may be viewed on the internet at lancaster.ne.gov under 5 City TV video on demand or 5 City TV on YouTube. Move we adjourn. Second. Okay, it's moved and second that we adjourn. Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. Okay, the County Board of Engineers, County Board of Commissioners is um, adjourned, and let's move on now to the County Board of Equalization. A copy of the Nebraska Opening Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the county clerk staff. The material can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Also in attendance this morning is Scott Gaines from the county assessor's office. Agenda item one are minutes. Approval of the minutes of the Board of Equalization meeting held on Tuesday, November 17, 2015. I move approval. Second. Okay, hey, it's been moved to second. That we approve last week's Board of Equalization meeting. Any, any uh, corrections? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. Number two are public hearings. Motor vehicle tax exemption applications for developmental services in Nebraska, Inc., Nebraska Crop Improvement Association, St. Paul United Methodist Church, and School Sisters of Christ the King. Okay, we'll open this public hearing uh, regarding motor vehicle tax exemption applications. Anyone to speak in support of? in opposition to or in a neutral position and seeing none let's i'll close a public hearing i would move approval of the motor vehicle tax exemption applications second okay it's been moved and seconded that we approve these motor vehicle tax exemption applications any discussion please call the roll hudkins yes shore yes wilton yes avery yes amundsen yes Motion carries five to zero. Okay. The next public hearing is proposed change in exemption, exemption status for the Catholic Bishop of Lincoln and educational environments, and they have two parcels. Yeah, I'll just now open the public hearing. Good morning, Scott Gaines, Deputy Assessor, oh. Register of Deeds. Uh, these are three parcels that have uh, sold from uh, charitable or religious organizations to private individuals. This is just notifying everyone that they will be on the tax roll. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone to speak in support of, in opposition to, or in a neutral position? Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing. I would move approval of the proposed changes in exemptions status. Second. Okay, it's moved and seconded that we uh, approve the proposed changes in exemption status. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number three is public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to County Board of Equalization business, not on agenda, may do so at this time. Move we adjourn. Second. It's moved and seconded that we adjourn. Please call the roll. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Board of Equalization Happy is closed. Thanks, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>